Hi guys, it's Danielle here back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about my tattoos because literally I think every time I do a new YouTube video or an IG video all the comments are literally can you explain to us what your tattoos mean can you tell us about your tattoos the story of them blah 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 so I'm gonna do that so let's get into it hey, hey, yeah I know they always talk about us it is like you're really doing too much talk too much online too much anyways first things first before I get started make sure to follow my YouTube if you already don't or um Follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, it's all Danielle Combs, so pretty easy to find. Yeah, so go do that and like this video before we get started. Um, but anyways, before I get started with this video, um, I have eight tattoos in total, and they all have a pretty big meaning behind them, actually, except for one of them. <laughs> it's kind of a design, but I've kind of started to realize the meaning behind it a little bit, but most of them are meanings. But there's one that's like a little bit not of a meaning, but yeah. So let's talk about it. So the first one I'm going to talk about, which one should I talk about first? I guess this one. This one's pretty big on my body, as you guys can see. It's a rose. It's actually my first ever color tattoo I've ever done. And it is a rose that goes down and says life goes on. And so I really wanted, for one, I've always, when I was like, first started getting tattoos, I always said I really want a tattoo that says life goes on, but I didn't want it to be super boring and just be like, oh, life goes on. <laughs> so I kind of was like, one day I was kind of just like, what if I like incorporate life goes on into like a plant or a flower or something? So that's what I did. I actually came up with this myself and just kind of wanted a rose that kind of faded into life goes on, but I wanted it to be like just like this perfect rose that I don't really know what made me pick a rose I think it was just that my favorite flower is a rose so I just thought why not make a rose you know and also my favorite like Disney movie is uh, Beauty and the Beast so it also kind of was like towards that I guess but this one is kind of just the meaning of life goes on like as you guys can see if you look down you literally see it so it's a very just easy tattoo to see so I think it's also I put it here because it's like kind of a reminder like oh life goes on you know like whenever I'm like feeling down if I just look at it, I'm like oh life goes on you know it will go on who cares so that's kind of the meaning behind this one there's not like it's not really a huge meaning it's kind of just directly to the point um, and then the next one I have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one last because this one I have to get another person in to show you guys the meaning. Then we have this one. This one is the biggest tattoo I have. And so originally I wanted to do half a sun and half a moon. Like it was supposed to be really, really tiny. And then I came up with the idea to kind of incorporate like a full moon. Um, and then so I was kind of like, you know, just... I don't know, I've always seen this design and I was like, I kind of actually think that that would be a great way to do it and just kind of incorporate the moon just coming out of the sun, which I know this is a very common design. Um, but I kind of put my own like spin on it, like with putting like the little nose ring on it and then like putting the little like things going down. This one is not finished. So this is like halfway finished. This still has to get shaded, colored in, all of that. So if you guys are looking at it, like why does it look like that? It's not finished yet, so do not judge it. But anyways, that is definitely one of like the most pretty tattoos I feel like I have just because it is such a pretty piece. Um, but this one was definitely very painful. More painful than I thought because usually like somewhere where fat is on your body, it's not as painful, but this one was really painful actually. So it was definitely a surprise when I was getting this done. Um, but actually, the meaning behind this portrait is that evil is like bigger than good. And so, I mean, I guess that is true in a way because I feel like the world is filled with a lot more evil people than good people, even though it shouldn't be that way, but I feel like that is kind of true. But if you look up the meaning behind a moon coming out of a sun, the meaning is that evil is bigger than like, good because the sun stands for like the good side and the moon stands for like the evil blah 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 you guys get what I'm saying so I mean after I saw that I kind of was like okay like I guess I could tell people that as the meaning but my first intentions was to get this because I've always wanted a moon and a sun piece and I thought that this was so pretty so that's really the whole reason why I got this but now that I like kind of saw the meaning it's almost like a little bit of a reminder to say like 
always be good like don't let the evil like turn you if that makes sense like just always stay good so like I said that one is the only one that I don't really have a meaning for just because I don't know it's just I kind of just got it because I like the design which I know you shouldn't do that but I don't regret it at all and I think I never will I really do want to get a tattoo here just like a word like a word or something right here, but I still need to find out what I want. And then those are the only, that's the only other tattoo I really want. And then I want some here, but that's about all. But anyways, the next one, I have a Pisces sign right here. But that one was the seventh tattoo that I got. So I wanted the seventh tattoo I got because my birthday's on the seventh. And I wanted just to get a Pisces sign because I'm a Pisces and yeah. That's really all it is. So I mean, that is a meaning. I'm a Pisces, so I got a Pisces tattoo. And that was definitely terrible because it's literally right on my hip and it hurts so bad, but yeah, it was, it was worth it. Okay, I know this is a thing that I say every time in my videos, but please just look at Bandit right now just spying on me. It's like he knows when I'm filming, he just spies on me, but right now I don't know what he's looking at. Bandit, are you spying on me? Wow, just wow. All right, so we talked about this one, this one. And then we talked about the Pisces one. Now we're gonna talk about this one right here that says self-love. Um, so this one is just like a little reminder to have self-love and love yourself no matter what. Um, that one also is kind of just like this one. It really gets right to the point. It just says self-love. That's kind of the meaning behind it, literally to just have self-love, know your worth, all that type of stuff. So that one's like a very like just empowerment, you know. And this one right here, I know that this is the most basic tattoo a girl can get. It's just a wave. And a lot of people don't really have meanings for theirs, but I do have a meaning for mine. I've oh, From once I was a kid, if I ever was to get a tattoo, I would get a um, an ocean tattoo. So that was actually my first, like my second tattoo, because this one was first. But this was like my first real one. And I kind of just came up with the meaning that life is like an ocean. <laughs> Other people don't really get this, but I get it, because like I'm the one who says it, but yeah. But I always say like, oh, life is like an ocean because there's like parts, if you guys know that, there's parts of the ocean that isn't discovered, there's parts of the ocean that have been discovered. So it's almost like life in a case, like some parts of your life you don't know what's gonna happen and some you know exactly what's gonna happen. And then like the ocean is so beautiful. Like if you've been to the beach or anything, you say, oh, that looks so beautiful. Like the ocean's just a beautiful place. Like life, it's a beautiful place. But there's also like really scary things in life, like sharks and like all these weird animals. And the ocean can be very scary, so I look at it like that. Like, life is literally like an ocean. But at the end of the day, when you look at the ocean, it's beautiful. So it's almost like no matter all the bad things in life, it's still beautiful and it's still, like, just an amazing thing. So that's the way I look at it. And I kind of just got a little wave because I didn't want to get a really big one. So that's what I got. Life is like an ocean. And then um, we have the angel wings with the day. I'm not really going to go into that because... You guys all know what it means. Um, I kind of got that tattoo just to kind of cope with the fact, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it anymore or bring any more attention to it, so I'm really not going to go into that tattoo, but you guys know the meaning behind it, so we don't need to talk about that. Then, the next one that I have is this one right here. This is my first ever tattoo I ever got and it is literally just an, a little infinity sign and it is so faded. But it's definitely one of my favorites just because it is my first one. But, so actually this tattoo has a pretty funny meaning. So when me and Mikey weren't together, he sent me a picture of a little moon tattoo that he got and he said it was for me because our little saying was forever to the moon and so I was like oh I'm gonna get one too now a little infinity so we secretly had tattoos for each other when we were broken up so that's what that means and then is that all of them I did this one this one this one this one this one this one oh so now we just have one more all right let me let me call Mikey up so he can show you actually we've never talked about this tattoo before so this is kind of a big deal because nobody knows about this. Well, people have seen it, but they don't really know the meaning. Like I just said, me and Mikey have that little saying that we say to each other, forever to the moon. So let me get him up here. Hopefully he answers. He never answers his phone. Okay, so. Okay, so now we're gonna tell you guys the meaning. We don't really post this one. We've never posted it, yeah. Mm. So it's just, it's not matching, but it is corresponding and it says forever 
to the moon. So like I told you guys, the little the like ones. moon and the infinity that we got, now we got real ones instead of little secret ones that nobody Here we know. Look. Yeah, I know, your tattoo is messed up, so is mine. But this is the little moon that he had, and then the infinity, and now we have actual real ones that say to the moon forever. But yeah, that's the meaning behind those one. It's a little corresponding one. <laughs> I bet you don't know what that is. Alright, love you. Love you too. I personally don't like that tattoo. Why? Why? Because it... is just weird. And I guess we look at things differently. I don't know. But I would never get a tattoo with that on me. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> but anyways, that's the end of this video that is all my tattoos. Comment below which one is your guys' favorite. And let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <gasps> is he going to jump off? Bandit, no! What is he doing? Bandit. Yeah, that's right. You step back in here. Oh.